Okay guys, so I'm going to walk you through how you're going to set up your computer so you can create your new design. So if you will notice right up here I have Tinkercad open and over here I have the Screencast-O-Matic video open. So you need to have those two things open, your Tinkercad and the instructional video. So you're going to first in Tinkercad click on Create New Design. And it may take it a second. And you are going to name this with your first name, your last initial, a dash, and planter. Okay? And then just click out of it, and there it goes. Then you're going to go over here to the instructional uh, video, and you're going to push play. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of things before this actually starts. It's got music, so you can turn the music down if you want once you start this. But right over here on this side, you can slow it down to 0.75. You're not going to want to slow it down more than that if you want to. Or you can just stop the video between each thing it tells you to do and do it and then click back to back and forth between Tinkercad and the video. So you'll click, you'll stop the video once it shows you what to do. Then you'll click here, do what it tells you to do, go back to the video and push play again. You can also rewind uh, the video or fast forward it by 10 seconds right here in the corner. And here's the volume adjust. And you can also do full screen, but you probably don't want to do that unless you just have to. Okay, I am going to show you how to click back and forth between uh, the video and the Tinkercad plane, but whenever the video plays, the music plays, and you won't be able to hear my voice. So I'm just going to show you, like, point with my arrow, and then when I pause it, um, you'll be able to hear my voice again. So I'll pause it before I'm going to click, click back into Tinkercad. Okay, here we go. Maybe. Okay, so the first thing you're supposed to do is drag a cylinder to the plane, and then you're supposed to change the sides to where it has a nice, nice smooth edge. So let's go to Tinkercad. Let's get the cylinder. Oops. And the sides right here is in this box. Now, if for some reason you drag it out and the box, you don't see the box, to adjust the sides, you just click right here and adjust the sides. Okay, let's go back to the video. Let's go back to Tinkercad and let's click. Remember, you click here and it will lock these two numbers and allow you to type in them. So they said 80 and, oops, I let go of one of them. Didn't do that. Okay, 80, enter. Uh oh. Did I do that right? Uh, I messed up. Click the wrong thing. So we're going to click undo. Okay, let's click back here. And we're going to click here. 80. And it's over here under my box. So, and click 80. And now we've made the cylinder 80. Now let's go back to the video. and we're going to go back and make it 80 millimeters tall 
and they moved it to kind of the center. So if you click off of that and make click onto your plane and make all the dimensions disappear, then you can move it kind of to the center. Okay, and then you can adjust the way you're looking at it right here to where you're kind of looking at it more at a front angle. Click on it again, and this square right here in the center when looking at it from the side is where you're going to adjust uh, how tall it is. So click there, and that locks it with the red, and then click 80 and hit enter. Okay. Now let's go back to the video. Okay, we're going to click and make it go back home click on the home button just kind of out of view right here and it'll make it kind of look uh you'll just have a better view okay now we're going to click another cylinder put that in here and again we're going to make the sides smooth again so you click on the down arrow and click this and do it all the way over okay now you can hide that again if you want go back to your video Okay, so we're going to make it 81. So 81, I don't think you can see mine on the bottom, but 81 on both. Oh, it is out of view. Let me fix it. So 81 here. Oh, let's do it this way. And 81 here. And a millimeter, one millimeter tall. So if we kind of adjust it to where we can see it from the side again. And here's the height. And we're going to make this one. Just type one, enter. Okay. There we have it. Let's go back to the video and make sure we did it right. Okay, now we have to align them. So we're going to kind of pull down a little bit on it. Well, let's see if I can do that. Let's do it this way. So we're going to move this as close as I can get it. And then I'm going to select both objects, the bottom one and this one. And the way I do that, click off of them so you don't have anything else showing. You just click out here on the plane, click and hold, and drag. And you see that little red box? As long as part of each one of those shapes gets into that red square, it's going to select both of them. Okay, now you're going to click align, which is right here. And then you're going to align this way, and you're going to align this way, because those are both centered. And now you can't even see the bottom part. Okay, let's go back and watch the video. And if at any point you get to where you can do this by yourself and just watch the tutorial video, then you go right ahead. Okay, now you're going to duplicate. We're going to click over onto the plane so the align tool will be disappeared and then we are going to kind of look back at the front again and you can see down here at the bottom cylinder you're going to select just that and you are going to click duplicate duplicate is right here you could do Control d if you wanted to 
duplicate, duplicate. Okay. Okay, let's go back and make sure we're doing that correctly. supposed to do okay so now we've got two of them I believe but I'm selected on the whole cylinder I can tell that because that's there but if I go down here I can click right here on these edges and I can see that this is the first one and it's selected and you can kind of see the blue right there and then if I click here this should be the second one. There it goes. Nope. Hmm. Hold on just a second. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, so each time you're going to hit duplicate, and it's going to have another one of these little layers here, but you're not going to be able to see it. You're going to have to click on the bottom one and then you're going to have to raise this up until it gets uh, like too high. So this one, I've done this one, I've done this one, now I'm going to do this one. So I'm going to click on duplicate again and I'm going to click right here, nope, right here, and I'm going to raise it up two. And there it is. Now I'll click duplicate again and I'm going to click on the triangle and I'm going to raise it to, oh, that one didn't do. Let me click duplicate again. Duplicate, oh, there it goes. Now it's just doing it automatically. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see that better. Oops. And just click keep clicking duplicate right there and i believe we are going to do this until it gets all the way to the top okay let's watch the video and make sure Okay, so now we're going to highlight everything and make a single object. Remember to highlight, you just click out on the work plane, click and make a square. And as long as they are getting, oh, I'm going to select all of them. So let's go start more at the top and select all of them with the square. There we go. Now we're going to group them together right here with control G or with this icon. Okay, let's go back to the video. We are almost done for the day. Okay, so we're going to draw a cylinder hole onto the plane and we're going to make it a length of 75 millimeters and a height of 80. So let's go back. Get a cylinder. You know what? Before I do that, I'm going to move this over a little bit. 
just so I have enough room. Oh, and there we go. Here's my cylinder. Click in one of the corners. It's going to be 75 this way. Hit enter. 75 over here, which I don't know why it always does. 75 here, enter, and 80 right here in the middle. That's going to be the height. So click there, click there, type 80, hit enter. All right, there it goes. I believe we're going to make this a hole. Let's see if I'm right. And then we're going to center it. So you're going to move it over here, and you're going to group it. Remember how we group? And this time you're going to hit a line. One, two, right here. And then I'm pretty sure you are going to hit enter. And nope, then you're going to group it. They're selected, then you're going to group it again. Okay, let's watch the video. Make sure. We're getting ahead of ourselves. So we're going to go back and make sure these two are aligned, select, align here, align here, and then we want to make sure that it is not going to, the hole's not going to go all the way through. So we're going to click right here in the middle and click right there on that middle dot and make this 75. Okay, now let's see what it tells us to do after that. Play. Okay, now we hit group, I believe. Oh, yep, yeah, hold on. Turn this over. Group everything. Hit group. And sometimes you have to give it a second. Now, let's make sure that it's, yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, now you've got your, uh-oh, I wonder what happened there. That must just be a glitch. I am not sure why those whole stuff go all the way around, but they don't. Well, if yours do that, I have no idea how that happened. It's a glitch in the program, so if they, if this does this, you can always put a design there. So we're going to stop right here at this point today. And this is all you're going to create is the outside part of the planter. So you can stop if you want to move ahead. If you don't have anything to do and you're having fun and you want to move ahead, go right ahead. Feel free. But this is as far as we're going to go today. So when I log into your dashboard today, I should see just your planter unless you've worked ahead. So this is all that's required for you to do is just create this one piece of the planter today and have uh, on your uh, file that says your first name, last initial, and planter. So when you get this done, you are finished. All right. Good luck, guys.